welcome back to our channel everyone in this video we are going to learn about the properties of pyrrole and i am going to answer you the very important question why the pyrrole is a weak base and also it is a weak acid so let's study it under two categories that is it has two properties that is physical properties and also chemical properties in the chemical properties we are going to study about the basic character and acidic character of this pyrrole we know that the pyrrole is a five membered ring that means one of the carbon carbon is uh, replaced by the nitrogen see coming to the physical properties of this pyrrole the first point is the pyrrole is a colorless liquid let's write it here it is a colorless liquid it has a boiling point what is the boiling point of the pyrrole that is 131 degrees celsius and the next important point is it rapidly turns brown on exposure to the air and next point is its odor is like that of the chloroform here it rapidly turns brown on exposure to air and the odor of the pyrrole is similar to the chloroform odor is similar to the chloroform and another important point in the physical character is it is sparingly soluble in water but dissolves in ethanol and ether it is sparingly soluble in the water it is it dissolves in ethanol and also ether these are the physical properties of this pyrrole now coming to the chemical properties we have two chemical properties here to study that is basic character and also acidic character of the pyrrole now basic character let's study about the basic character of this pyrrole we already know that the pyrrole is a five membered ring let's draw the structure once again it is the structure of this pyrrole see here this pyrrole is a weak base it is having pka value that is 3.4 why this is weak base i have said that it is a weak base but why it is weak base means these uh, the reason for this weak base character of the pyrrole is that the these lone pair of the electrons which are present on the nitrogen is involved in the formation of delocalized pi molecular orbitals see these lone pair of electrons which are present on the nitrogen are involved in the delocalization that means these will go here and this bond will shift like this this undergo delocalization for the formation of the delocalized pi molecular orbitals but these are not available for the formation of new bond with the proton see the first very important base character is that it it should accept the proton it should accept the proton that is h plus but if at all we add a acid to this base this will not accept the proton let's show it by, show it to you by a reaction now take this this is a pyrrole and it is a acid it is a acid and it is pyrrole the basic character is that it should accept the h plus that is proton it is a proton here that is h plus is a proton if at all it accepts a proton here the structure that means the reaction will give rise to that is cl minus this is the crystalline hydro chloride see this is the salt when the pyrrole is re reacted 
in the presence of acid we will get crystalline hydrochloride this is a salt this is this salt is stable in the absence of oxygen when the presence of oxygen it will lead to the formation of polymerization that means it will form a brown resin see if at all the reaction happens like this what happens means this structure the resulting structure this is the resulting structure when we react pyrrole and the acid together this is the resulting structure this resulting structure will ceases to be aromatic it will no longer be aromatic we have already seen that the pyrrole is aromatic it obeys ockel's rule see if photo the reaction happens like this it will loses its aromaticity it will loses its aromaticity and its resonance is also lost its resonance energy will also be lost so this makes this cation of this pyrrole very unstable that's why the pyrrole is a weak base why because these lone pair of electrons are not involved in the bond formation with the proton but they are involved in the delocalize delocalization of the pi molecular orbitals let's write the point here the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen is not available for the formation of new bond with proton which is the proton here that is h plus is the proton here so these lone pair of electrons are not available for the formation of this new bond with this proton so if at all it forms a new bond with this proton it will lose its aromaticity and this cation will lose its resonance also resonance energy is also lost it will become unstable so it will not accept any h plus that is proton the very important point here is is the basic character means it should it should accept the proton but it is not accepting the proton if at all it accepts the proton it undergoes polymerization and it, it will become unstable so this pyrrole is a weak base i hope you have understood perfectly about this basic character of the pyrrole now let's start with the acidic character of this pyrrole now acidic character of this pyrrole acidic character this pyrrole is a very weak acid and it also very weak base also weak base and weak acid also it is having the pka value that is 15 now how to show that it is a weak acid this is shown by its reaction with solid potassium hydroxide and also with grignard reagents by the reaction with solid potassium hydroxide and also with grignard reagents grignard reagents is having the general formula or mgx now let's react the pyrrole with these things first with solid potassium hydroxide the potassium hydroxide is having the formula k plus oh minus so this will form see this bond is shifted towards the nitrogen and this bond is shifted towards here so this will this structure will become like this this will get 
these two electrons here and these two electrons here this bond is two electrons so it is shifted here so two electrons on the upper side and two electrons on the lower side and here is the k plus and this will get a minus charge due to excess of electrons now it is given towards the OH so H2O C is a pyrrole we have added KOH that is solid potassium hydroxide this bond is shifted towards the nitrogen and this bond is shifted and released in the form of H2O here the K plus I have written and here are the electrons the these electrons are on the upper side and these electrons are on the lower side this will get minus charge why because of excess of electrons so the, it is having the name that is beryl potassium it is spiral potassium and when it is reacted with the Grignard reagent let's take it as P minus Mg plus Br this bond is shifted towards the nitrogen and again this bond is shifted towards air we will get a structure like this that is N is having electrons on the upper side and the lower side and the bonds and also here Br Mg here is the plus pH it is pyrrole magnesium bromide see it is a pyrrole it is a Grignard reagent it is having the general formula this one or MgX we have taken P minus Mg plus B or will give a structure that is here is the N and the electrons up in the upper side and lower side and BRMG plus PH. We will give the name that is spiral magnesium bromide. Now, coming to the important point, the reason for the acidic character of the pyrrole is that this electron pair delocalization from nitrogen makes it positively charged and increases the possibility of the proton abstraction. See, it is a acid it should give the H plus ions so this is a proton here the abstraction of protons takes place that means this proton is given so the reason for this acidic character is pyrrole in this pyrrole the electron pair delocalization from nitrogen makes it positively charged this nitrogen makes it um, from the nitrogen makes it positively charged and increases the possibility of proton abstraction due to this positively charged nitrogen it increases the possibility of the proton abstraction see this proton is abstracting that means uh, it will give rise to the formation of the pyrrole anion that is pyrrole anion is formed here so this uh, pyrrole anion is stabilized by the resonance once again i will tell the reason for the acidic character of the pyrrole is that the electron pair delocalization from the nitrogen makes it positively charged and increases the possibility of proton abstraction giving the pyrrole anion okay let's write the reason here electron pair delocalization from nitrogen make it positively charged and this increases this increases the abstraction of proton proton abstraction when the proton is abstracted it will give rise to formation of pyrrole anion this pyrrole anion which will give rise to pyrrole anion this will give rise to see this is minus and it is plus so this spiral anion is stabilized by the resonance so let's show, show you the resonance of this this spiral anion is stabilized by the delocalization of the negative charge now 
consider this pyrrole anion it is having the minus charge here and these electrons which are present on the upper side look carefully these electrons which are present on the upper side will move to here and this bond is shifted to here and next next what happens means he is a nitrogen and these electrons which were shifted here forms a bond here and these bond is shifted here so it will be converted like this to electrons and here it will gain a negative charge next it is a bond so i have mentioned it like that only so in the next step what happens means this electrons will form a bond here and this bond will form the minus charge here see here these electrons are shifted towards here so it will form a bond like this and this bond is shifting here so it will become a structure like this sorry i have forgotten to mention the electrons here and next this bond is shifted towards here sorry these electrons and this bond is shifted towards here and next is the nitrogen and is the electrons and next these electrons now these electrons are shifted here so it will become a minus charge here and next this is shifted here so it will become a bond here these electrons are becoming a bond here next in the next step sorry here is a bond already so let's mention the bond here next in the next step these are shifted towards here and this is shifted here to form a negative charge and we will get a minus charge that is electrons and minus charge here and this electrons form a bond here and is a bond already this is the resonance of this pyrrole anion this is a pyrrole anion this pyrrole anion is stabilized by the resonance that means stabilized by the delocalization of the negative charge so the negative charge is delocalizing all over the ring so it is stabilized through the resonance it is a resonance form of the pyrrole anion this uh, this completes the topics acidic and basic character of the pyrrole and its physical properties also thank you for watching my video please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel thank you